Hello everyone, I am the Lore Explorer, and this video will contain spoilers for Outer Wilds, and in today's loop, I have another cool sites compilation for y'all. These are some of my favorite videos to make because it allows everyone to see and experience things you may not have been able to in the past, and today, I've got a doozy for you. I took the Harthian ship to the eye of the universe, and while trying to get some cool footage, it got struck by quantum lightning. So, be sure to stick around to see it. To begin with, I just used the object spawner mod to place the Nomai shuttle in cool places we haven't really seen them before, and it's nice to be able to see the shuttles in the landing pads and not just imagining what they look like there and all that. Plus, we finally get to see the Nomai shuttle on the stranger. But that's it for the shuttles. Next up is actually something I did myself. With the help of the Outer Wilds modding discord, I actually wrote a mod, and during the last update Mobius added code to the game that was unused in the files, and with that help from the discord, I went in and activated this code, which lets you refuel using the stranger's fuel source to make our flames burn green in our jetpack like we saw their, you know, flamethrowers doing the reels. And of course, this isn't isolated to the stranger, so we can take it anywhere and get this cool lighting effect in visual. I'm not sure why, but I enjoy standing next to other explorers and just messing around with the green fire like nothing's going on. Uh, I don't know. If you're on PC, you can go download it now if you want. And ever since I wrote that green jetpack mod, I've been trying to learn more about modding. A kind user named Harthian wrote a mod to allow me to replace Solemnus Mask with a newer version, and I've been using that to create custom scenes in the game that, you know, just sort of play out different things that have happened. Like this is the prisoner just going ahead and scanning the eye. Look at that. Look at it doing stuff. And basically, this experience taught me to be able to do this with any character, so I should be able to write like little movies or custom scenes from the game that have happened in the future, so that'll be something to look forward to and do. Next up is a bit simpler. I just teleported to the stranger right upon waking up, and looking at the screen, looking out the window, I was able to spot the Nomai probe just exiting the solar system. I thought it was neat to see through the RGB screen of the stranger, so I thought I'd share it here. Now this one is super neat. Mega Piggy, a modder, made a mod that forces the character to blink every two to seven seconds, and teleporting to the quantum moon has an awesome effect. As we blink, we can see the versions of the moon change around us, and this is actually consistent with the lore. If we blinked, this should be what happens. Realistically, we should never be able to make it anywhere, but I'll say since maybe we have four eyes, we just blink two at a time lore-wise, and you know, that's what makes it possible. But anyway, I noticed something neat about this mod, that even with the entire you know, moon teleporting every five to seven seconds or whatever, if you have a shuttle or the tower in sight, it'll stay. It'll stay in one place while the moon teleports. I thought it was neat. Now we're starting to get into the fun stuff. I kind of forgot to record my mic during all this, but I recorded everybody else. But anyway, playing Quantum Space Buddies, I decided to just attack people with the model rocket. And to our surprise, it actually damaged us. So I asked someone to attack me to see what it looked like in first person. And bang, that's what it looks like. It was fun. Thank you. Now, next up, I got so excited when this happened. There's some sinking issues with multiplayer and the rafts, so if you just jump on the raft after it comes down over the dam, like this this had to go over the dam and get dropped down, and as it was floating, you can jump on it, and then it, the sinking issues make it so this wants to go back to that apparatus, but it just flies there. Look at them. They're like the Wicked Witch of the West. What are they doing? And then, I don't know, it, you feel like a pioneer just with your arm up flying through the stranger. Look at us, we're flying. It's fun, I like it. The sinking issue also created one more really cool thing to me. I got so excited when this happened too, I just yelled, Try Fitz Jesus! Because look, they're walking on water. They're moonwalking down this freaking river like nothing's going on right now. So, I, I don't know. There's just a raft that's turned upside down for them, but the sinking issue makes it so it's not there for us. So, they were just walking on water like Jesus. It was great. And then this raft won't let us on for some reason. It just keeps flinging us off. Only Jesus can ride it. <laughs> Problem gone. Uh, 
<laughs> he's, he's so stoked about that. What? And I was just, like, working on it. And for the moment I've been waiting for, for four years now basically, taking the ship to the eye of the universe with the help of the amazing modder Zen42, I was able to bring the Harthian ship right to the eye. It's really buggy and broken, but that just adds to its charm in my opinion. I like the pink lights and steam blowing out of the sides, legitimately I do. But the real cool thing is what follows, getting to fly our ship through the wormhole and into this strange grey chamber, which I now think to be space-time continuum for the Outer Wilds universe, and that's really cool. But once you get to the other side, like once you exit this, you can turn around and just get a whole vision of the eye and its vortex from the side, and you can actually go through it again if you wanted. If you don't touch the floor here, you can fly out and go through the vortex again and it will all reload. I just thought it was neat. But there are other cool sights to see. And after getting all the normal things out of the way, like just flying around the planet and trying to deal with the gravity and the random, you know, archways and all that good stuff, I started to think a bit like a YouTuber and was searching out some cool footage. So I took the ship to the eye and parked it right beneath the vortex and got a cool couple cool views of it, you know, parked right under the eye and it, it just looked awesome to me. Now this may be one of my personal favorite pieces of footage I ever got in Outer Wilds. In the Quantum Storm, not only is this just cool background footage I'm getting... Boom! It gets struck by freaking quantum lightning. The rock that hit it actually, it, ah, it did stuff and it moved and it reacted to it and I had a lot of fun. But look, Doctor Who. Jokes aside, that really did remind me a lot of the TARDIS flying through the wormhole in the intro to Doctor Who, so I just had to add it. But, that's about all I have for you today. Hopefully, once I dig a little bit deeper and learn more about modding, I'll have a lot more to show you guys. But, if you enjoyed this video, I think you should really check out this channel called Zen42, which I'll link in the description, because they have some really cool Outer Wild content on their channel. They're responsible for adding one of the most popular mods in the game, New Horizons, in which you can add entire custom solar systems, assets, custom ship logs, and just a ton of stuff that you can do to make actual story content for Outer Wilds, and on their channel, they kind of bring us along with them during their modding escapades, which leads to a lot of cool sights and glitches, if you ask me. So, if you like this video, definitely go check out Zen42. As always, a special thank you to the members here on the channel. We are at an all-time high with memberships, and I can't thank you all enough. The support really does help and means a lot to me. I was just able to buy a badass laptop that is making life a lot easier for me right now, and I don't think that'd be possible without all of you. So genuinely, thank you. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Or, if possible, maybe even consider supporting in a more direct way like merch or memberships or super thanks or any of that fun stuff. But mostly, I just wanted to thank you all for watching and getting this far in the video and being with me here today. So, thanks for watching, I am the Lore Explorer, and I hope to see you in the next video.